And welcome back everybody. MTG Singles here. Look what we got here. Nice fresh sealed box. Iconic Masters. Let's go ahead and open it up. Another box I have not. I've never opened up a box of Iconic Masters. It's been a long time since I've up, um, done any packs as well. So, first we'll figure out the order of the packs, which I assume is going to be pretty standard. And, um, nice little empty box there. And then uh, in this box we do have our standard commons, uncommons, uh, rares, um, mythics, and then our foils. So only a couple uncommons we'll pull, uh, Mishra's uh, Babel and uh, Thran Dynamo. Those are all both worth over five bucks. And then um, a lot of rares, really good rares in this set. Horizon Canopy over 50, Aether uh, Vial over uh, 40, and of course the Mana Drain Mythic is the, the number one. So let's go ahead and get started here. You'll see the nice new plane mat we got in the background, our good friend Mr. Wren and six. All right, so we do start off just like we thought with our commons. So no commons really worth, uh, uh, nothing worth over a buck in this set as far as common, regular commons go. And then we have our uncommons. So again, we'll just look for a couple different ones. Oh, and then we got our first uh, Tefiri right here. Um, <clears throat> So I did print off a little cheat sheet just so we would have it. So it is a $3 rare. We'll go ahead and list everything over 3 bucks for this one. And then a Borderland Marauder. All right. So not, um, I think we do have a foil in, in every pack. It's the best way to open these bad boys right here. That last one opened real easily. There's no pull tab. Well, look at that. Challenge the most powerful planeswalkers. Do you remember when players were the planeswalkers? Only planeswalkers, I should say. Oh, and there's our Mishra's Babel. So that's a, that's an eight dollar uncommon right there. Nice, nice right hit off right at the bat in the second pack. We'll put that aside with the Tefiri. And we have a nice rare land. So um, this one. Um, I'm not sure about the lands in this one. Um, it's about four dollars, and then an uncommon Demir Aqueduct, which might be worth a little something. We'll look up the uh, prices of all the uh, foils before I post the video online, so you'll know what they're worth. So let's go ahead and skip to our commons and Scourge of the Valkas. Foul tongue in invocation. Scourge of the Valkas, not a not a good hit. So looking for a real first good good rare mythic. Um, we had the best uncommon in the set. There's the charm. And our first mythic. So um, <clears throat> this is a eighteen dollars, roughly. Very nice first hit. So the mythics in there go all the way from the mana drain, which is over eighty bucks, to uh, to the channel, which is less than a buck. So there is a pretty wide range. Although the majority are nine bucks or higher. I think there's only three that are less than uh, nine dollars but we still would like to see the better ones uh, you know let's say 15 bucks and higher for our mythics in this set the mana drain is the only one worth over 30 other than that our 30 dollar ones are going to be our rares all right on um, rot farm nice little rot farm there and an obstinate ballot. Electrolyze. Nice uncommon foil. Obstinate ballot. Obstinate ballot. 
Don't miss a moment of MTG singles. Hope you guys are enjoying it. That um, as of the time of this filming, we had already gotten that shout out from Rudy in that sponsored film for Take the, Conspir uh, Take the Crown Conspiracy. Restoration Angel. I think that's going to be um, a, a decent one. I could be completely wrong though. Right on this juggernaut. Flash flying. Eh, maybe not. Yeah, I don't see that on my uh, cheat sheet of hits for rares. Dragon Tempest. And the Boros Garrison. And Savage Born Hydra. Trumpet Blast. So one Mythic. We're about a third way through the box. We got a decent mythic. No foil rares or mythics yet. Student of Oija. Distortion. <laughs> My favorite character, the Gutter Snipe. And a hydrosonic, hypersonic dragon. And duress. That is a card I've been finding myself playing in MTG Arena. Very low casting call, obviously. I like maybe getting that out on the opening hand or two. Uh, get rid of a enchantment that the opponent is holding on to. <clears throat> All right, here we go. So we're looking for our first good hit rare. We've had a couple of $5 ones. Inspiring Call and Night of the Souls Betrayal. And they're for another common. So uh, we're not doing not doing too good with the rares yet. Again, we want the Cryptic Command, the Horizon Canopy, or the Aether. Aether vial, Aether vial, hoarding dragon, and oh, <laughs> oh, there's our eighty dollar mana drain right there. Oh, that's a beauty. Best non foil in the set. Second mythic. Nice little sandstone oracle. What a hit. I forget what I paid for this set. Um, it's over 300, but I'll, I'll post it. Um, exactly what I paid as I edit it. But um, that'll, that'll get us there. There's another rot farm. I love that doom blade. As, as, as bismal persecutor. I don't know, sometimes I can't, um, almost like English is my second language when I come to commenting on these, uh, commentating on these. So, very nice mythics, including the mana drain. Sandstone. Thran Dynamo. So, the, uh, the Thran Dynamo is our second, um, most valuable uncommon worth about five six bucks so we'll put that over there and glimpse the unthinkable that is a nice little six dollar rare oh and a serum powder um, serum powder is a five dollar regular rare and this is a foil so that's gonna be a good probably if I had to take a guess I would say Ten bucks or so, but you know some of these have um, high multipliers. So I, I, I will take that one. You know, not a home run foil, but not a waste of a foil either. Foil rare that is. Hopefully we'll get one more. I'm not sure how many are supposed to come in a box, but there was our first one. There goes our monastery. 
and Horgan and Hellkite. Followed by a Guardian Idol. That's another beautiful card. Look at that. Too bad the cards aren't valued on their beauty. Alright, so we got the, the Mythic. Let's see if we can get um, a Horizon Canopy or Aether Vial. Um, oops. Lightning Helix. And Knight of the Reliquary. Infantry Veteran. Now that is a $3 knight. Let's go ahead and put it up there. Like I said, for this value, we'll, we'll put everything there. We got a little mana leak. I think that is about a 99 cent common. Not a home run, obviously, but... Oh, River of Tears. Might be the uh, name of this video if I can't get anything to follow that. Um, Mana drain. A worm with the U. River of Tears. One of those rare lands that just doesn't have any value. Shriek Geist. Has been. Rift Volt and. Of the moon. Um, Magus of the Moon is a five dollar. Nice little rare there. So a lot of common foils, obviously. Uh, got our one common rare, or foil rare, sorry, common rare. Fog Bank. And our heroic champion. Uh, that is a good one. That's a $13 uh, rare right there. That's a beauty. We'll put that up there. These are our cards greater than 10 bucks. And then both of our mythics are over 10 bucks too. So two mythics. Probably should get at least one more, right? Tell me. Distortion. Gutter snipe. Gutter snipe is good. A gutter snipe is good. That's good luck. Watch, watch. Charm breaker devil. Well, maybe I didn't mean this pack. Maybe I meant the next pack. The pack that follows the gutter snipe is the pack with the foil mana leak. All right. Um, I thought that was another um, uh, Mishra's bobble for a second. Oh, oh, that's there. We go. Oh man, nice little fifty-dollar rare right there. Horizon canopy. That's gonna go with uh, right over here in our little extra happy pile. I told you the pack right after the uh, gutter snipe. Don't ever underestimate the gutter snipe. Oh wow! So we got the the most the two most valuable non-foil cards in the set. Let's see if we can get a third. The Sarah Angel, the Oblivion Stone. Nice little uh, artifact. I don't think it's a a hit. Yeah, well, yeah, eight dollars. Oh, look at that! A nice little foil Mishra's bobble. So um, this one is actually about twelve bucks. So nice hits there, and about twenty bucks of value in that pack. I think we're doing pretty dang good. We got about uh, we got four packs left, including this one. If I can open them. 
Four packs left of our Iconic Masters. Only one box, not a whole case that we're doing. Jungle Barrier. And Simic Sky Swallower. And a Thought Scour. So, two Mythics, one Foil Rare. Maybe we'll still get one more of each. Um, but that Foil Mishra's Bobble, very nice. The Horizon Canopy, very nice. Alright, just three packs left, including this one. A little Simic Growth Chamber. And there's an, our third mythic, the Kiki. Uh, Kiki, $12 mythic, not bad. We'll take it. Kiki, do you love me? If you join my Patreon, I promise never to sing again. Until then, you will hear me sing. Please consider supporting this channel, both through subscriptions and if you really want on on a Patreon. I will be offering uh, some some group breaks on some more expensive sets here in a little bit, uh, but we got to build up a little falling first to make sure we can get those. Fireball and austere command. So that's a nice little seven dollar rare. And a surreal, surreal memoir, uncommon. Some of those uh, un uncommon foils might be more than three, four bucks. We'll find out. Last pack, guys. Um, I think I think we made our value. To be honest with you, between the mana drain, the horizon canopy, uh, two other mythics, I think we're going to do okay. Uh, but you know, if we get that second foil rare and it's a good one. It'll be a home run. Enlarge and Spirit Monger. So I don't think the Spirit Monger is a hit. Um, let's see what we got. It's a common Pentrick Ward. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we did get the nice Mana Drain and we got the nice Rising Canopy. So right between those, about $130, $135 of value in just those two cards. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, MTG Singles, out.